Hi there and welcome back. We are given the position of a moving particle as a function of time. We are given x, y and z coordinates or functions. We are asked to plot the position of the particle from time 0 all the way to 100 scale. I will be working on my editor section on Octave. The time scale, remember we are given from 0 to 100. You'll notice that I'll be experimenting a lot here. So initially let's start with line space 0. 100 and 100 compute x y and z use the plot 3 statement plot 3 statement is basically the 3d version of the plot function so when you use the command plot 3 x y z it will draw a 2d projection of the line in a 3d space you can also use more features such as x label y label z label grid on and title your graph run your file and voila there is our function but you can see that the curves of the moving particle those errors they are not really defined to define them more let's actually change our scale and work more around a different scale so the different scale that we can use now, we can say T and we can use square brackets 0 with a spacing of 0 and 1 all the way to 100. Look at the new graph. If I run my file, the new graph is more defined. The curves and the moving particle those circular motions are more straighter compared when we used lens space but out of curiosity i also tried the plot the 2d plot function so if you use the plot x y it's going to plot a graph of y versus x as you can see there the particle it is moving um this one kind of explains better compared to the 3d version but either way after you see the 2d you kind of get the idea i really really hope this makes sense thank you so much for watching